Hi, this is Cherise with Motherhood Exposed and we are in beautiful Aruba. I actually took my husband out for his 30th birthday, so woohoo! It's so beautiful out here, guys. So being in Aruba, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I needed to do to bring a milk home. We celebrated, we were able to go away and have a good time. And I definitely did not want to waste all of my milk. So I Googled a few companies and I found this one company called uh, Milk Stork. So, Milk Stork, you can use this in the US or it obviously you can go international. So if you're using it in the US, you would find a FedEx um, and they would then send that milk home. But since I'm outside of the US, I actually have to carry or tote it as a carry-on so they send you this bag. So let me tell you a little bit about how the process works. So basically, this is the box that they ship. So I ordered online. I told them which hotel I was gonna be staying at. Um, they shipped the box to the hotel, which had all of these continents in it. So you have your nano cooler. This is what the cooling pack looks like. So this will keep your milk cold. On the back, which I just punctured it not too long ago, this will give you 90 hours of cooling effect. So your milk stays cold. And I'll show you that as well. So I have all my milk in here. They gave me 25 bags. I used um, about 18 of the bags. So this was just some of the milk that I was able to get. Some of it I dumped and I'm still probably going to pump probably one more session, but I just wanted to show what this looks like. Um, this is what the cooling unit looks like. It's called the Nano Cooler. And you would just put this in here. Right? And the original bag, box, sorry, not bag. The original box is uh, this box. This is how it comes. Milk store. And then you have this bag, which is your carry-on bag. So you just carry this on to your flight, which is nice. And this is the actual cooling unit. So you press this and then it activates. It's about 90 hours, I believe that's what they said. It's 90 hours. So you press that and then it activates the cooling unit and so for here all you need to do and I'm gonna have to open each individual each individual milk bag and just take the air out of it because essentially what you're gonna do is put it down in here and you're gonna fold it right well, of course it's not folding because there's air in there so you just fold the top you gonna place it down and then you will place them one on top of the other. One on top of the other, first you would do all this, right? So you're gonna place them down here and then you're gonna follow up with however many layers you need um, to get all your milk in there. And there's 25 of these milk bags. So here's the, the extras. I also, um, use Nature Bond, so this helped to catch my milk so I can optimize the amount of milk that I had and um, I'm using the Spectra 2 pump which I love. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how everything goes as far as TSA. I'll do a follow-up video about my whole experience and I'm also flying United and how they treat 
um, mom. So I'll definitely be doing a follow up video. So then you would just put this over and then you would just close it. good to go and you would just put it in your carry-on bag and I also use my spectra 2 to pump and then I also found a uh, nature bond so I would maximize the amount of milk that I was able to use and whatever breast that I wasn't using I just put it on so then it was able to capture that milk as well and these are the bags empty so you put the time and the date, um, how much you pumped on there. And they said that it's supposed to be fairly easy for TSA. You don't have to send this box through x-ray. I would prefer not to do that. Um, you would just let them know, hey, I have some breast milk here. TSA will pull you to the side and then they will go through everything and check to make sure there wasn't anything harmful. And then also, you know, you would just take this and carry it on a plane. Um, I'm actually flying United. I heard something kind of um, bad about one of an, another YouTuber had a bad experience um, with flying United, but I'll do a follow up video and tell you about how the TSA process was and how United was um, during this process. So yeah, so thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, so I hope to see you soon. Bye.